This video documents my trip to Saginaw, Texas. And you can see Saginaw is north of Fort Worth and has two yards in it. It also has two track diamonds near the depot, which is in this red circle here. And I was just off the parking lot in that circle. So I stocked up on some water, packed up my truck, and I drove to Saginaw about 45 minutes away. Now here's the view when you get to Saginaw. It's dominated by this large grain elevator, which is opposite the depot. There's the depot itself. It used to be the town hall. It's now a church. And there's Saginaw Boulevard. I then set up my tarp so I'd be protected from the sun. I had my chair, I had my drinks, and I was ready to watch some trains. And one snuck up on me. And all I did was catch the tail end of it. I didn't catch the front end. Didn't even get audio until late in this clip. But uh, that gives you an idea of the frequency of the trains here. There's uh, BNSF trains and UP. That was a UP train and those do come closest to the depot. The next train that came by was uh, BNSF and I love the uh, colors of these BNSF locomotives, the one in the center being much more washed out from the sun, had a different color panel up near the cab, uh, just really cool flash up those three locomotives. And this was a long grain train. Uh, this is was shot in either early October, I believe, of, or late September. And so it's probably grain season. And so there are a lot of grain hoppers in this train and there's another grain train that comes by later. So Saginaw is also the scene of the 24 Hours of Saginaw, which is a rail fan event where you stay by the depot for 24 hours watching trains and uh, sharing the experience with other rail fans. And there are seminars and get-togethers all through that 24 hours so you can learn about railroads and railroading so i definitely plan on doing that in the future i imagine with covid and the pandemic it didn't happen recently but now that i'm back in north texas i definitely plan on taking advantage of the 24 hours of second Now this train that we're seeing here is going to make a reappearance. It's going to come backing into the picture. You just go down the tracks a ways here and uh, turn. Doing a backing move into the North Yard. And here they come, backing into the yard on a track that is closer to the depot than the track they took on the way out. You probably could hear them blowing for several grade crossings that occur a little bit to the left of this photograph. It's a nice clean hopper there in the center of the picture with really uh, obvious conspicuity markings and no graffiti. I'm sure some of you watching will be glad about that, no graffiti. It stopped for a while, I stopped filming, but then they took off again. Classic shot from the Saginaw Depot again with the trains operating in front of the grain elevator as a backdrop. So, kind of a cool scene overall. I'm going to pan to the left here and uh, we'll see the motive power once again. The same three engine lash up as. Uh, what was heading north is now heading south in reverse. The 
Depot and the parking lot are really convenient. You can get pretty close to the trains. Uh, so it's really a, it's really an awesome spot to rail fan. And it's, it's rare that you're there by yourself. There's usually somebody at least sitting in their car or truck watching trains. Um, at least that's been my experience. When I worked close by, I used to come down here to lunch and watch trains. see several uh, different generations of hoppers here in use and several different versions of the VNSF Herald as well. So kind of a little bit of rolling history here. Finally, here comes the motive power. And they basically bring the train to a halt right in front of me, which was kind of cool. Now you can see off to the left in that circle, there's another BNSF train approaching the Diamonds. And that train is going to stay a little east of my location and actually is going to go into the yard on the track that this uh, triple ash up took on the way out. And uh, it is going to provide a really nice opportunity to have shots with two trains in it in motion, both heading south, one backing south, one um, head ends headed going south, um, but kind of cool, both BNSF trains. When the UP comes into the picture, it always comes in from the far left in this shop, right around the depot, and really sneak up on you. BNSF is a little further away, and so it's uh, a little bit more warning for those trains. And there's the second train coming into the picture now. The first train has actually come to a stop, and so the second train is going to start to be hidden by the first train, but then the first train also starts moving towards the North Yard, so they're both headed towards the North Yard, which is, I believe, the North Fort Worth Yard further to the west and it's accessed by the track that's closest to you in this picture is the Saginaw Yard. They're both BNSF yards. So just when you think the train in the background is going to disappear, the train in the foreground also starts moving south. It's always cool when you can get more than one moving train in your shot. Now look at that graffiti on the far train. 
covering the whole side of that hopper. Just really inspiring to be around railroads in action. Can't help but inspire your modeling to be exposed to the real thing. Now there was some other UP action. This is uh, a UP, a couple of UP engines that were working with uh, a lot of empty spine cars. Um, and you'll see pictures of, uh, you know, an SD40, old SD40, and it was lashed up with another old SD40. Again, with the, uh, um, the grain elevators in the background, it always makes an interesting shot, frankly. And then there was another BNSF, what appears to be a grain train that went by on the far tracks, which I got some still pictures of. Another C44. You can see there was quite a bit of activity on the day that I was there, including Amtrak which went through both of the diamonds on the way south towards the station in Fort Worth. It's coming out of Denton. Well, we had a stop in Denton and now it's heading into Fort Worth. And there's the uh, trailing engine of the Amtrak train. And see another one of the grain elevators in the background. There's quite a few grain elevators in Saginaw. Well, I've been here a couple of hours. I've seen five or six trains, but the action really does seem to be dropping off. I can see down the way there, there's a UP train in the yard that might be staging to come out. If they come out in the next 10 minutes or so, or if there's any movement in that light suggesting that they're actually doing something, then I may hang around for a little while longer. Uh, but otherwise, I'm gonna pull up stakes and uh, head on possibly over to Angelo's Hobby Store and maybe get my hair cut, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up stakes. So pull up stakes is what I did, literally. I took down my tarp and headed home. Thanks for watching. That's all I have for you this time. Uh, please, if you stuck around this long, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button for more modeling and rail fanning in the future. I really appreciate you and your viewing my videos. Until next time, this is Bob Johnson with DKNW Model Works signing off. Keep on modeling.